I am uh, wanting because just a few minutes ago we were running away from protesters who have finally managed to access Parliament Road uh, through City Hall Highway where they had, they had pressed for the better part of the afternoon. And as we're speaking right now, Smriti, I'm at the entrance that leads directly into the Parliament building. And what I am witnessing here, Smriti, is that hundreds, if not in the thousands of, of protesters have actually managed uh, to access the ro this road and they are marching uh, to Parliament, the lentilers. And uh, we are going to be running a bit now. Uh, but police officers have been trying to push back, but their efforts have proven too times because the protesters have been hurling stones towards them. And this has uh, pushed the police officers uh, together with their mani machinery. I'm speaking about the water cannons alongside the vehicles uh, that are used by the police officers. They have been pushed back to Parliament and uh, outside Parliament also. Uh, journalists who have gathered outside Parliament are also being pushed back. Now, Smithy, why this has uh, proven to be a difficult task for policemen is because protesters forged their way from different uh, roads uh, in the city. Protesters from Uhuru Highway and also from City Hall Highway and even uh, GPO. And we have seen that build up uh, since early morning, uh, despite the fact that they have been uh, different efforts by police officers to make sure that they don't uh, get uh, to get to parliament that has uh, been actually overcome by the protesters and they are here outside parliament uh, the Sinzi here uh, we can see also members uh, uh, just let me get a, a clear picture of that Ricky. just stay with me I can see uh, outside parliament buildings uh, actually, members of parliament are outside here, are gathered actually. Uh, in between them is the police officers. And on the other hand, are protesters who are now approaching a parliament building. Earlier on, Smithy, we had a gunshot, gun, a gunshot uh, actually fired from inside parliament building. Uh, we are yet to confirm, uh, but we saw GSQ uh, officers even... Uh, police officers just trying uh, to shield the parliament building from the protesters, but the protesters are actually uh, making their way here, and it is uh, a mixed uh, uh, event here because we have members of parliament standing right outside parliament, we have police officers uh, in their numbers are trying to make sure that even as protesters advance uh, towards parliament, they will not access uh, the main building itself. Those are things, as I said earlier, this has been a build-up uh, from early morning. We are getting reports that uh, uh, the gunshot fired actually have injured a number of protesters. Uh, we are getting those pictures and also reports from sources. Uh, but we, yet, we are yet to confirm that uh, from authorities, and of course, we'll do due diligence uh, to get uh, the numbers uh, of those who have been injured. Uh, we are also getting reports of an injured uh, journalist. Uh, belong to a, a journalist with the AFP who uh, was injured. Our reports uh, indicate that he was injured uh, during the protest. Uh, police officers now, I can see from where I'm standing, I'm just outside uh, the parliament uh, roundabout just to paint you a picture. And uh, from where I stand, uh, just the stretch that leads to City Hall Way. And you can imagine protesters are yonder just from where we are standing, but police officers are also standing on this other side. And it has been quite an engagement, running battles in town, echoes of blasts of tear gas canisters, as well as the fumes that have rendered uh, the town. And here uh, we have been seeing also protesters employing new strategies uh, just to ensure that they push back uh, the police officers because uh, from early morning, we could see a retaliation, not just returning the tear gas canisters that have been lobbed towards them, uh, but also actually pelting of stones, hurling of stones, uh, which overpowered police officers at outside Supreme Court and outside City Hall. And just about two hours from that, here we are now outside Parliament. This is Parliament Road, and the scenes you can see there 
Uh, if my camera person, Victor Onyango, is showing you those pictures, this is right outside Parliament, and protesters are engaging uh, police officers who are trying to make sure that they don't go any further. But really, they are standing just about 200 meters uh, from uh, the Parliament entrance, and it is safe to say that what they wanted to achieve is nearly actually what they're going to achieve. So I can hear a number of gunshots, pretty uh, gunshots from police officers here trying to disperse um, protesters who are still forging forward and relentless. And right at that roundabout where they are standing and have converged is where the different roads meet. The road from Uhuru Highway just uh, outside and uh, the road that leads from city all the way. You can see the protesters are running and uh, actually a retaliation trying to return uh, the, the tear gas canisters that have been lobbed towards them. Police are advancing now towards uh, the protesters' side and Excuse me, they are advancing towards the protesters' side now. And uh, there has been a bit of reinforcement here because police officers who are previously in different parts of the city have now been called to, excuse me, uh, the, 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 the better part of me, but uh, there has been a reinforcement here by police officers. Different contingents have been marshaled here to ensure that the protesters don't have the way uh, to Parliament. As I said earlier, on the other end, we saw Parliament, uh, members of Parliament have gathered outside. Some members of Parliament have gathered outside, are trying, or rather, 